Hey guys, Rob Baldwin here, IMX Productions and 10 Minute Photoshop. It's been a while since I've posted a Photoshop tutorial, probably most of the summer. I've been pretty busy, um, lots been going on, and uh, I'll show you mainly what's been keeping me busy. I'll just uh, switch the camera here, and it's this guy mainly. Loki! Loki! So, this guy right here, this is Loki, the six-month-old Bernese Mountain Dog. And, um, yeah, I've been keeping me pretty busy <laughs> for most of the summer. So we got this little guy in um, in July, and he was about 17 pounds when we first took him home, and now he's about 70 pounds. So um, quite a lot of fun. Around the same time, I got myself a new toy, um, a Canon EOS 7D. So as you can imagine, I've had a lot of fun learning to use the new camera and taking some awesome photos of of Loki. So I thought, what a great I what a great idea for our first tutorial back is to take a look at dog photography, and more specifically, tips on enhancing and retouching photos of dogs. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Okay, so here we have a photo of Loki, the Bernese Mountain Dog, taken at a local dog park. Okay, so this photo was taken with a Canon EOS 7D um, at about, IS, I think my ISO was about 320. It was a fairly well lit day, but I did have my shutter speed up to about 400. I find when you're taking dog photography, because they tend to move fast and kind of bolt at any moment, you want to keep a fairly high shutter speed. I usually keep it between, between a range of three to 500. If they're in, a, in mid play or in a fast run, you might want to go even higher to really get that good action shot. Okay, so first thing we want to do is do some basic airbrushing. So I'm going to zoom in here. So you can see my dog gets a lot of these uh, little eye goops here. And we want to take those out. Now there's two tools you can use. You can use the clone tool right here, or you can use the healing brush. I'll show you both. So the healing brush, what I want to do is hold down Option or Alt, click Sample, and sample an area nearby, and then simply brush over. And as you can see, it does a really good job of covering up and fixing those little goops. Okay, so the next we're going to use is the clone tool. It works exactly the same way. You just hold down Alt or Option to sample, and then brush over where you want to cover. Okay, perfect. Now the next thing we can do is sharpen the image a little bit. It is fairly good. I mean, it's a high, you know high quality image, very good image, but we can still sharpen it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this layer to the new layer, create a copy of it, come up here to filter. We're going to apply an unsharpened mask filter. And what unsharpened mask does, or any sharpen filter, is just sharpen up the image. So as you can see, if I toggle this really high, you can see it just brings out the color, the contrast a little bit. So you can create some style, very stylized images using the this uh, filter, but we don't want it too much. We just want a little bit of sharpening happening. Good. Now the problem is if you apply this to the whole image, what sharpening does, it does bring out some grain. So it will create a more grainy image. Now I don't want that necessarily everywhere. So what I want to do is create a mask. We're going to fill that black so that it's not applying anywhere. We're then going to go grab a brush and just on our mask and brush in where we want, where we want this to occur. So I like to go around the eyes, just brighten up the eyes a little bit. So you go around the nose, the whiskers. And then what I like to do is go around the edge of the fur and just, just sharpen up the edges just a little bit. And it really makes it pop, makes the, makes the dog kind of come out from the background. You should do as little or as much as you want. It's up to you. Next thing we'll do is apply a photo filter. Okay, so come down here, click and click on photo filter. And grab the first one, a warming filter. I'm gonna go pretty high on the color there. But then what I wanna do is come down to the blending option and click overlay. I don't want it that powerful, so bring toggle it down. But you see how it does add a really nice um, saturation to our colors. It really brings out the colors a bit. Okay, what I don't like is it's really darkening, darkening his face right here. So once again, hold down, click, make sure we're selecting on our mask. Grab our brush, a um, little higher, a little wider brush. That's probably good. Bring down the opacity, maybe around 30. Make sure we're on black because we want to remove the effect. And then we're simply going to brush around here, just where I find it's it's a little too strong. Just like that. That's good. So if I toggle on the, the mask, you can see that 
wherever it's white is where my photo filter is applying and then wherever it's gray it's applying slightly less okay good I'm liking this now last another thing I like to do is add a vignette to my photos and just stylize it a little bit so I'm gonna grab the elliptical tool make a really big circle this way like that okay come up here to filter and we're going to blur it Gaussian blur fairly high blur but I mean you can play with that good create a new layer below make it white and now I'm gonna merge these two come up here to layer merge layers now I do want this inverted so I mean I could have started with a white elliptical but I didn't do that but that's no problem I'll just come here to adjustments and invert we'll invert those colors we'll set the blending mode to multiply which will remove the white that's a little strong on the edges so just lower the opacity and it just has a really nice little vignette effect to our photo perfect last thing I can do I let's uh, saturate the rust patches on the dog a little bit so another blending another um, adjustment layer come up to your hue and saturation just saturate the colors a little bit now that would actually look good to the whole image but I just want to apply to the rust patches so once again make sure our mask is selected fill it black so removing the removing the effect grab your brush make sure it's white up to 100 percent I'm gonna zoom in here lower and I just want to go over those rust patches and saturate that color a little bit look at that Not bad. now if you find that's a little strong just come down here to opacity and just drop it slightly I might up my photo filter a little bit there we go okay so pretty good image if I go up here and toggle to the original this is what we started with this is what we end up with all right, hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Um, if you have any comments about the tutorial, if you have suggestions about other tutorials you'd like to see, please comment below, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter, and check out the website 10minutephotoshop.com. I'm Rob Baldwin, thanks for watching.